Hello. Today, I'm going to be making this boomerang right here. And uh, just so you know, that this boomerang is indeed on my invention store. Uh, it's 100 tokens, so if you don't want to make this invention, uh, you can just go buy that if you want. Um, but yeah, so now we can uh, get on to the, uh, the video. Alright, so first things first, let's go ahead and get out our maker pen. So I can just reach behind my back. But if you don't have that, go into your watch. Go to backpack and hit use on maker pen. And bam, there you go. Once we have our maker pen, hit open palette on maker pen menu. Hit circuits v2 in the top right. Then we can go to search chips, hit the search bar, and type in rec room, rec room object get all with tag. Let's just let's put that right there. Now let's look up get element. Then we need a rec room. Wow, okay, I don't know what I just spelled, but uh, we need a rec room object get authority. So let's place that right there. Now let's get a get velocity. Get a velocity right there. I'm going to get position. We're going to need two of these. So let's place one right there and one right there. Just move that right there. Now we can go ahead and get a vector split. Uh, let's put that right above the get velocity. Now let's get greater or equal. So let's get, we need three of these. So yeah, three greater or equals. And now let's just look up, oh, let's look up or. So we need an or chip. This or chip will go right next to like the middle, uh, greater or equal. And let's just take out our configure tool and let's configure this so it has one more input so just configure it chip settings make sure this menu's drop down and just hit add input once now we can go ahead back into our search bar and look up uh, vector create then we can go ahead back to the home page of the uh, of the circuits and get an add then we're gonna need a Subtract. And then we can look up distance. Now we can go into the commonly used section and get two if chips right here. And I'll just move this uh, right here. There we go. Oops, throw that back out. And then get an event receiver you put this event receiver right there go ahead take out your configure tool configure this event receiver uh make sure this chip settings menu is dropped down go to event and then update 30 hertz uh, so it's updating constantly now we can go ahead and get our clone tool and we can just clone this vector split uh let's put this vector split right next to the subtract uh, right there and then we go back to our search bar and let's look up or equal uh, because we need greater or equal and the lesser or equal so let's put a greater or equal there and there and then our lesser or equals will go right here and here and then we need to get a multiply goes right under the, the distance chip right there after that we can go ahead and look up uh, a velocity add we put this uh right right yeah right on top of this lesser equal right here after we have that let's go ahead and take out our clone tool again and we can take this or chip and put this right next to our vector split maybe move it over a little bit and configure it to have one more input so it should have four inputs now we all about that let's take out our wire tool and then we can just tap the uh, the tag right there. And let's put this to BR for boomerang. Oh. Now we can go ahead and open our palette, go to props, go to sports, and then get a disc. And let's just put this disc on the ground right there and shrink it down all the way. Now I have a boomerang. Um, I made this earlier. It's not that good, but uh, I think it'll do for this. Um, basically, what you want to do is when you make your boomerang, make sure it's decorational and uh, not grabbable. 
so we don't we don't want this to be grabbable okay so let's take our our boomerang that we made and we can just go ahead put this down to the ground right there and now we can move our disc let's see which way we grab it grab it like this so let's move it we can just move this disc inside of our of our uh, of our boomerang right there and then we go to gadgets in our maker pen uh, go to gizmos and then get a clamp and let's put this clamp right there so now what you want to do is take out your wire tool take the body of the clamp and wire this to the uh, the actual disc right here there we go I'm gonna move this disc back actually you can see a little bit now we can wire the top of this clamp to our actual boomerang piece and now we have a, uh, a boomerang let's go ahead and take out our configure tool and configure the disc inside here to have the tag br so with this any any object with the tag br once you when you throw it it will uh, it'll come back to you when, once we're finished um, so now we're ready to start wiring so the objects with tag will go into a list and of this get element and then um, so we take the value from this and we put this as the target for our rec room object get authority and the result of this which is a player will then go to our get position right here and we go back to this get element and then we get uh, the objects position and then we go ahead back to our get element and we get the velocity of our get element so we get the velocity of our object and then this velocity will go into a vector split right here and then the z will go into the bottom a the y will go into the second a and then the x will go into the top a it's important that these go into the a of, uh, of all these greater or equal or else it might not function the way you want it to so now that we can take our wire tool just tap these and then we put it to I'd say probably around 0 0.0, 0 0.03, yeah, 0 0.03 is good, uh, let's just put it there, so 0 0.03, and 0 0.03, so now we have that all configured and ready to go, we can go ahead and wire these into our ore chip, so just take all these red pins, wire it to these red pins on the ore chip, and then the result of this ore chip will then be our condition for the second if chip. While we're over here, we can go ahead and get this event receiver up to 30 hertz, take the execution from this, and wire this to our if chip right here. Now, we take the then execution and wire this to the uh, the execution pin on the on the second if chip. This basically means that um, if this is true, then it'll check this, and if this is true, then we could finally go ahead and set this velocity. So let's just take the then and set this velocity right there. Now let's move down to this vector create right here, and configure the y to be, I would say, somewhere around 2.2. Uh, might be might be a good spot for where you for, for where you want it to be, and then uh, we take this vector three right here, put this to our add, and then this uh, this difference will actually be um, uh, we'll add this to our our difference right here for the subtract, and then we take these get positions, uh, we wire this top one to the first one of both the subtract and the distance, and then we take the get position of the uh, the second one so the bottom one and this will be the bottom of both our subtract and our distance and then we take this distance we multiply it by 10 and then this product will then be our speed for our velocity add now looking at our velocity add we can go ahead and configure this maximum speed to be 16 uh, I think is a good speed. Uh, it's not too fast, but it's not too slow either for this. And then the target of this uh, velocity add will then be our get element right here. So our object, our disk. Now we take the direction of this velocity add, and the direction of this will be our uh, our sum of both the subtract and the vector create. Now we go ahead and look at this section of the uh, of the circuit right here and take this subtract and also wire this to the vector split 
and then this vector split, we will then take the x-axis to the both the a's of this top uh, lesser or equal and greater or equal, and take the z and put this to the uh, the bottom greater or equal and bottom lesser or equal. Now we take the result of these and then put these to the or chip that we put over here earlier. And then the result of this or chip will then be our condition for the first if chip all the way back up here. Now, this is the final part. We just have to configure the less or equals, the greater or equals, and all this stuff, and we'll be done. So let's configure this b on the less or equal to be negative 20. So if it's less than, uh, if it's less than negative 20, um, it will make this true and then complete the circuit and send it back to us. And if it's 20, then it will come back to us as well. So greater or equal means 20, less or equal means negative 20 in this. The reason uh, we have a less or equal and that's negative 20 uh, is because basically if this was, uh, like if this had any velocity, um, it would constantly go to our face. Um, if we had a positive 20 and a lesser equal. Uh, also, this deals with like coordinates and stuff based on like where the player is, um, if that makes any sense to you. So, yeah. But now, we have a completed circuit. So we pick up our disc, our boomerang. Actually, first we can turn gadgets off. So we take our boomerang, and we throw it. And BAM! It comes right back to us. That was a little shallow. But if you want, you can always configure it. Like, that was a good one. Go ahead. Bam. Throw it a few times. I think it's pretty fun. This is definitely, I think, the, the most fun thing I've made with, uh, with Circuits V2 in a, in a good bit. So that is how you make a boomerang with CV2. Uh, I hope it worked for you. If it didn't, uh, go ahead, leave a comment. I'll, uh, I'll try to respond and help you out uh, if I can. But, yeah. So, see ya.